quite a few people in the community and also coming by my stream have always asked me how I get my iRacing to look so nice. Now it's not actually a secret in the iRacing graphic settings, it's just a post-processing filter that I run called Reshade and today I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's super quick and easy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and Google Reshade. It will most likely be the first hit that you're going to get. If not, you can just go to reshade.me and you can see here Reshade is a generic post-processing injector for games and video software developed by Crosshire. If you see that, then you're on the right website. All you want to do is hit download and it's going to take you down to the download button, which is down at the bottom. You don't need the full add-on support, you just need version 6.3.3 or if there's going to be one later. Save that to your downloads and once that's downloaded, you can open it. Now you're going to be greeted with this window and you're going to see a lot of games here. You're going to scroll down until you see your iRacing, which I should find somewhere here. And you don't want to click the UI because obviously you don't want your UI to look nice and colorful. You actually want it on the simulator itself. Now you can leave it on DirectX 10, 11, 12 because I think iRacing uses DirectX 10. So when you see this by default, standard effects will be ticked and then sweet effects will also be ticked. You can untick it and retick it and it's gonna open this menu of everything that you can install as like an add-on. Now, the only ones that we're gonna need, we need four here, which is fake HDR, levels, luma sharp and vibrance. Personally, I just untick the rest so you don't have a huge menu of add-ons to the scroll through. You can just have four or five to go through and it's a lot quicker to go through. So once you do that, you just hit next and that's it. Sweet effects will be installed and reshade will be installed straight into iRacing. Now the next steps, we're gonna to need to go into iRacing to configure, so let's go. So once you start iRacing here, I've just joined a random rainy spa session. You'll see this bar at the top that says that basically reshade is successfully installed and you can press the home button to start the tutorial. Now let's just jump on board with someone. So I've just jumped on board here with someone just to use a good example. Now Spa will be a good example of how dynamic and vibrant you can make eye racing using Reshade. You can use the kind of curbs and the line painting on this new version of Spa to kind of see the effects that's happening in real time. Now with the actual sim open, you're gonna to wanna to press the home button on your keyboard. So once you press the home button, you'll be greeted with this window, which you can just click skip the tutorial here. And here is all of the effects that you can use with Reshade and you can see how they adjust the game in real time. Now I'm gonna put an image on screen of the actual effects we need and the settings. Again, you can play with these however you like. I just like my game to look very dynamic and vibrant when I'm racing, kind of like that eye candy style and also makes it look nice for stream. So the four that we're gonna need is fake HDR, levels, luma sharpen and vibrance. Now you can see instantly already it's turned very dynamic. Most of it is done by this fake HDR which increases a lot of the blacks in the picture and makes everything very dynamic and contrasty. But I'm gonna put a picture on screen of my recommended settings and then you can play with it however you like from there on out. So once you've applied all the settings, you can see again in real time how much of a difference they make. And yeah, it just makes iRacing look a bit more nice, dynamic and vibrant. So I'd appreciate it if you found any information in this video helpful. If you followed this guide and it worked for you, please don't forget to drop a like. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.